Recently, I was walking in the forest when I found a magical tree. Now, before you think I'm crazy, which is debatable, or that maybe I happened upon some magic mushrooms, hear me out. Okay, so it isn't really a magical tree, but for me, along with the insects for which it provides sustenance, it seems pretty miraculous. The tree, an American elm, is leaking sap at many locations along the bark of the trunk. I was amazed at what I observed there for a couple of weeks, which is about all the time that was left before two big cold fronts arrived. For some of these creatures, the cold means that it will be time for periods of slumber. For others, it's the end of days. The vast majority of these insects were wasps. Species included southern and eastern yellow jackets, common and red paper wasps, four-toothed mason wasps, and even the massive tarantula hawks. But there were other creatures as well, such as question mark butterflies, goatweed leafwing butterflies, common wood nymphs, and red admirals. There was a fair number of sad underwing moths and honeybees as well. Other creatures included various flies and this species of beetle. The discovery was a real boon for me as I was able to get nice photographs of several species that normally are difficult to get close to or they rarely stay still long enough for a decent photo. Although I don't know exactly why the tree is leaking sap in all these locations, I have a pretty good idea. It's most likely disease, such as a bacterial infection, or it's insects such as wood-boring beetle larvae. Sap can also leak from the tree due to mechanical injury. However, since the leaks on this tree are coming from so many locations all around the trunk and well up into the branches, I doubt that it is mechanical injury. Some of these creatures, such as goatweed leafwing butterflies, will slumber during cold weather, then emerge on warm days to search for food. But for some, such as paper wasp workers, the cold weather will kill them eventually. Either way, food supplies dwindle in the fall, so many creatures are desperate to get as much sustenance as possible. There were many occasions where I questioned my sanity while getting close-up shots. Quick movements are not advised around a bunch of desperate wasps, so I sometimes had to let them crawl on me. The pain from wasp stings isn't really that bad, but it feels so wrong to let one crawl around on myself. Anyway, I moved slowly and didn't get stung even one time. It's been great observing and photographing this natural phenomenon, and I will continue to do so even after the cold weather arrives. I'm sure I'll make an update video. So now you know the story of the magical tree in the forest, and I wasn't under the influence of any hallucinogenic substances. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Hi, Chokers.